What's up guys, I'm Caden with Crypto Now or Never. Welcome back to another update on Turbo. Please do me a favor and hit that like and subscribe button. Help me pump that algorithm, I'd greatly appreciate it. None of this is financial advice. Let's get into it. I have a dream, that's all I need. I'll make it up in some work and believe. Know what I want. All right, so yet again, just when we think the crypto market is about to get hammered, Bitcoin has a little bit of a recovery again. Bitcoin's back up to 58,200. Now, is this a great level? Not necessarily. If you look at the Bitcoin chart, we're currently bearishly retesting the 21-day moving average. And I'll go over the Bitcoin chart in just a second, but if you look at the meme coin section, most of them are just following Bitcoin. For example, in the last week, Dogecoin's down 9%, Shiv is down 9%, Pepe's down 16%. And if you just go down the list, a lot of them are down significantly worse than Bitcoin, including Turbo. Turbo's down 19.7% in the last week, and they're currently down to a $226 million market cap. Now, a lot of people are going to look at this as a negative. However, the reality of Turbo is that it ran up super fast. A lot of people out there didn't really have the chance to accumulate Turbo at decent levels. So some people actually probably like to see this dip, including myself. I told you guys in my last Turbo video, I was a little bit late to the party. But if we take a look at the Crypto Fear and Greed Index, we're all the way down at 26, which is right on the verge of being extreme fear. Now, as always, understand that these indicators can be manipulated. However, in my personal experience, usually this is pretty accurate. And realistically speaking, these are the times that you should be buying buying cryptocurrency. You don't really want to be buying when we're up in that 70, 80, 90 region. That's when you need to be very careful of a dump. All right, but now we'll go ahead and take a look at Bitcoin. And as I said, on the four hour for Bitcoin, we currently are bearishly retesting the 21 day moving average. That is not really what we want to see at all. However, I will say at the moment, the RSI and stochastics are both still pretty oversold and they definitely have legs to push up. And if we can actually get back above this level, I would expect us to gap up to the high volume node on the VRVP. And this would be the next major level to retest. And then obviously, if we can get back above that, the most important level is going to be the 200 day, which is this golden line. I talk about the 200 day in almost all of my videos. It is critical that we get back above this level. However, this is the four hour time frame, so I still want to make sure you guys understand the bigger picture of Bitcoin. So I think it's very important to consistently show you guys the 10 day time frame, just because a lot of people freak out looking at Bitcoin from a day to day standpoint. All right, so on the 10 day, obviously we had this super explosive run up and then ever since we've just been consolidating. And in my opinion, we're basically just in a giant bull flag. And at the moment, the RSI and Stochastics are both getting very oversold and have legs to push up. In addition, there's also a Class C bullish divergence. And bullish divergences are rare on this large of a time frame. So in my humble opinion, Bitcoin could be absolutely flying by the time October, November roll around. Bull flags break up 68% of the time. Not to mention it's an election year and rate cuts could be right around the corner. Now, obviously, I could be completely wrong, but in my personal opinion, this is the calm before the storm. But anyways, now we'll go ahead and take a look at Turbo. And this is actually Turbo on the daily time frame, and not a whole lot has changed since my last video. In my first Turbo video, they had just gotten the Kraken listing, which caused a little bit of a pump. However, since then, Turbo's gotten sold off a little bit. But now what I really want to point out about Turbo is the difference in the daily time frame from Turbo and Pepe. So we'll start out by looking at Turbo. And what I want you guys to notice is that Turbo actually put in a higher high. Now, again, I understand I have it basically drawn in this giant falling wedge, which I will stand by because Turbo ended up breaking right back down into the pattern. However, I would argue for Turbo that we could still be considered in an uptrend. And the reason for that is because we put in a higher high and we actually have not put in a lower low. So at the current moment, we are still holding a higher low. We did get very close to putting in a lower low when Bitcoin had its flash crash. But as we currently stand, we put in a higher high with a higher low. And you could also argue that we are forming a potential double bottom. Whereas if you take a look at the Pepe chart, they have not put in a higher high. The same time that Turbo did, they actually double topped. And then I guess this most recent one you could argue, but it's very slight. So in my personal opinion, Pepe is still in a clear downtrend, whereas you could argue that Turbo is actually in an uptrend. And that right there could be a very important difference. Now understand, I'm also not sitting here hating on Pepe. Personally, I think Pepe is going to be a huge meme coin this bull run. I understand they're already ranked third, but I think there's a great chance they pass Shiba. But all that being said, that's why I'm so bullish on the Turbo chart. They honestly look great right now. And then if you look at Turbo and X, they're growing consistently. They're up to 74,000 followers. And this has always been one of the biggest reasons I've been bullish on Turbo. They have a very strong community and they're very active on here. For example, they have an AMA coming up in one hour. I'm recording this at 9 a.m. And then they also just posted 12 hours ago and then on August 31st. And then if you scroll all the way down here, you can see on August 13th, this is why they had their initial explosion. Kraken listed Turbo. And most people out there would consider Kraken to be a tier one listing. So that right there should tell you the kind of people who are watching Turbo. And I think there are a lot of people out there who were expecting Turbo to reach a market cap in the billions. Obviously, that's not guaranteed, but if it does do that, it will make some very nice gains. 
But anyways, while we're on X, you guys should come over and give your boy a follow at Crypto Now or Never. I post on here pretty much every single day. And then I would also like to take a moment to talk about my private Discord through Patreon. So at the current moment, I have three different tiers, and there are many benefits to joining my Discord. For example, this is going to give you guys closer access to me. You guys are going to be able to track the cryptos that I'm personally buying, selling, considering buying, and even the cryptos that I currently hold. And we've been making some huge gains on here. For example, one of my biggest calls was Hoppy, which I called it a $580,000 market cap on April 21st. And Hoppy ran up to over an $87 million market cap. That is around a 150x. Just to put that in perspective, if you guys had invested $1,000, your $1,000 would have been worth around $150,000. Those are life-changing gains to most people. So if this is the kind of thing that sounds interesting to you guys, I have the link right here on my YouTube homepage. We're building a very strong community. I'd love to see you guys in here. But I also want to be crystal clear, at the end of the day, every single one of these projects that I cover comes with extremely high risk. It is very important that you always understand your own risk tolerance. But that's about all. Let me know down in the comments how high do you guys think Turbo will go this bull run. If you found this content valuable, please do me a favor and hit that like and subscribe button. Thank you guys for watching. Have a great rest of your day.